scientists recently revealed the existence of a new fossil specimen of a 4.9 million year old giant flying squirrel, Myopaturista webby, at the Gray Fossil Site. This discovery provides new information on the prehistoric fauna of Appalachia, reveals unexpected migrations across continents, and fills in the blanks of the area's rich history of flying squirrels. The Mysterious Discovery in the Appalachians In the heart of the Appalachian region, a surprising discovery was made when researchers from East Tennessee State University and the Autonomous University of Barcelona unearthed a fossil of an ancient creature, long thought to be extinct, in a sinkhole, a geological formation that has preserved countless secrets of the past. The giant flying squirrel is a part of an astonishing species that once dominated the North American skies millions of years ago. The giant flying squirrel is vastly different from the flying squirrels we know today in that it was much larger than its modern relatives, roughly the size of a cat. Measuring up to four feet in length from head to tail, it is said to have been capable of long-distance flights, further separating it from its modern-day relatives, which glide short distances between trees. This flight was for both finding food and avoiding predators. Fossils are often fragmented, offering a small piece of the puzzle. However, this fossil specimen, found in the Appalachians, is exceptionally preserved, allowing the remains to provide scientists with a rare opportunity to study the anatomy, flight mechanics, and behavior of a long-extinct species. With its remains, researchers can reconstruct its flight capabilities, diet, and social behavior, reshaping our understanding of prehistoric mammals and the way in which they adapted to their environments. The Evolution of the Giant Flying Squirrel the origins of the giant flying squirrel can be traced back millions of years as they evolved alongside a rapidly changing North America. Their early ancestors are believed to have emerged from tree-dwelling rodents, gaining the ability to glide as an escape and hunting mechanism. Over time, they evolved into larger, more powerful creatures, eventually resulting in the giant flying squirrel, with a distinct advantage that allowed them to search for food, evade predators, and perhaps even migrate across different ecosystems. New Migratory Information Fossilized flying squirrels are not new to science. In fact, the first known specimens of the species date back to the late Eocene era, 56 to 33.9 million years ago, vanishing for millions of years until reappearing in the Pliocene and Pleistocene eras, 5.3 and 2.6 million years ago. The species had been found in sites in Europe and Asia but this new discovery in North America confirms that these squirrels crossed the Bering Land Bridge from Eurasia. A Glimpse into Ancient North America Millions of years ago, the Appalachian region, like its giant flying squirrels, was vastly different from what we see today with a densely forested and wetland landscape. This environment supported a wide range of plant and animal life, and the skies were filled with species adapted to both gliding and flying. The discovery of the giant flying squirrel fossil offers a glimpse into this lush, vibrant world. Ancient Predators While the giant flying squirrel was formidable in its own right, it was not without its share of predators. Ancient North America was home to many carnivorous species, including large birds of prey and mammals. The discovering researchers suggest that the giant squirrel's flight would have been an essential defense mechanism allowing it to quickly take to the skies and outmaneuver many threats, much like modern flying squirrels. The Extinction of the Giant Flying Squirrel Like many species of the prehistoric past, the giant flying squirrel eventually became extinct, although the exact reasons why remain unclear. Scientists believe climate changes, habitat loss, and new predators may have played a significant role in their extinction. As the climate shifted, North American ecosystems and species began to face new challenges, with the giant flying squirrel unable to adapt quickly enough, leading to its demise. Unveiling the Sinkhole Sinkholes can be rich treasure troves of prehistoric life, as these natural formations trap and preserve ancient remains. The sinkhole in the Appalachians, where the giant flying squirrel fossil was found, is no exception, given that the remains were so well preserved. Scientists believe that the sinkhole may have once been part of a larger ecosystem, with diverse animal and plant species all coexisting rather well. The Role of Sinkholes in Paleontological Research 
Often seen as natural hazards, sinkholes have been known to play an important role in paleontological research. The Earth's surface collapsing into a sinkhole traps animals and plants in its depths, where they are preserved in a unique and undisturbed environment. As a result, paleontologists are given a rare opportunity to study ancient ecosystems in great detail. This particular find can provide insights into the climate, vegetation, and other species that lived alongside the giant flying squirrel. Ecosystem Reconstruction and Resilience By analyzing the diverse fossils found in the Appalachians, scientists can reconstruct ancient ecosystems, providing insights into how different species coexisted and interacted with each other in the past. Additionally, Discoveries such as the giant flying squirrel highlight how resilient ecosystems can be over time, which could inform strategies for maintaining ecological balance in the present changing climates. The Future of Paleontological Discoveries The discovery of the giant flying squirrel fossil reminds us of the many mysteries hidden beneath the Earth's surface. A discovery in a sinkhole paves the way for more exploration, especially into sinkholes and other geological formations as they are likely to hold more ancient creatures yet to be unearthed. With each new discovery, scientists gain a better understanding of evolution on Earth.